And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. It's another snowy morning across eastern Idaho. There is a winter weather advisory in effect until 11 o'clock this morning. This includes the shaded areas in white. It does not include Pocatello. It includes Rockland, Holbrook, Malat City. So if you are traveling south for this morning, definitely be aware of that. You'll encounter some bands of either even light to moderate snow. Anywhere between about 2 to 4 inches of total snowfall is likely. And again, that advisory expires at 11 o'clock this morning. Winter storm watch has been issued. This includes Sun Valley, also includes Stanley, catch them and includes the Upper Snake Highlands up by Island Park, Victor, even across down south by Emigration Pass. Anywhere from about 6 to 10 inches of snow is possible and this winter storm watch begins tonight and does continue through Friday morning. Radar is indicating light snow moving into the Snake River Plain for this morning. Seeing the light snow really coming in from the south even across Idaho Falls this morning, Pocatello, Malad City. So if you are traveling south or even west towards the Interstate 86, be aware of that for this morning, even into, into to Jackson, your area will see some snow building in during the late morning. Getting a wider look, we're seeing the moisture source coming in from the south. This is the first push of moisture. We get a slight break for this afternoon, but then behind that, the next sor source of moisture will build in for about tomorrow. We'll see rain and snow mixing in with that for tomorrow. Tomorrow will definitely be a pretty wet day out there across the Snake River Plain. Even for this morning, we're seeing that snow around 8 o'clock building in to the Snake River Plain. Light snow across eastern Idaho. It'll continue throughout most of the morning by about 11 o'clock interstate 15 still seeing that snow and it'll be building in across western wyoming as well by about four o'clock looks like a majority of the snow is over across the i-15 corridor but american falls could even see a rain or snow shower around that time then as we look ahead to this evening we get a little bit of a break out there you could encounter a snow shower if you are traveling south towards malad city and then for the overnight we do get a break but more snow builds in and we'll even see rain and snow building in with that for tomorrow morning, even freezing rain is possible. Icy road waves will be possible tomorrow morning. Definitely tomorrow morning will need plenty of extra travel time for your commute. And that rain and snow will continue throughout the day. It will actually could be heavy at times, even across the mountains, seeing all snow for tomorrow and even across western Wyoming. That'll be the story for tomorrow. Looks like it will taper off later on tomorrow afternoon across the Snake River Plain. Those temperatures right now on the warmer side, being that we're seeing snow out there, we're in the 20s for most locations. And as we move throughout the day out there. Temperatures generally going to rise into the mid 30s across the lower snake of a plain. It'll be 34 degrees today in Blackfoot, 36 degrees in Pocatello, 33 degrees in Idaho Falls with the snow generally tapering off for most locations during the early afternoon. And then for this evening, we get a slight break, but then after midnight, rain and snow will build in to most locations for the snake of a plain with low temperatures in the 20s and the 30s for some. Seven day forecast brought to you by your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers leaves us with rain and snow likely for tomorrow will also be pretty breezy out there with a high temperature of 41 degrees. Then for Friday, we could see some lingering snow showers possible with more snow showers possible also on Saturday. Idaho Falls rain and snow likely for tomorrow. Chance of snow showers for Friday and then on Saturday, light snow possible at times with a high temperature of 31 degrees. Teton area, Jackson, Afton and Driggs snow likely today, tomorrow, even through Saturday with high temperatures in the 20s and across the central mountains, light snow showers possible for today with a chance for more snow tomorrow.